Hi everyone, welcome. <laughs> I'm Maggie of maggiesbus.com and we're doing a quick, fast, fast, fast uh, crystals and stones mini session today, <laughs> little live session. Um, it's theme week actually because um, we are celebrating the Scorpio full moon Sunday night into Monday or Monday is the full moon. Um, and I'm doing a full moon sound journey on Sunday night, 6 p.m. Eastern time, 3 p.m. the other time. <laughs> mountain and Pacific, all that. So anyway, um, I want to talk to you about this guy, Snowflake Obsidian. <sighs> so cool. I love that the flame is actually inside the pie hole. <laughs> so we have a pie stone. Hi, Susie. So we have a pie stone and um, the pie stone is often used in shamanic traditions to pass on rites. And this is what I actually um, offer uh, and gift out to my students when they come to me for Mune Key because I'll pass on the rites with my pie stone and then the final one is passed on with yours. Um, but it's, it's symbolic and it's powerful and it's beautiful and I love it. Like, let's just talk real close, real quick rather, about pie stones in general. So pie stones, um, so it's not just a circle, it has the hole in the middle, right, donut? So pie stones in general, like I said, they're gifted, um, but they represent the Ouroboros, if I'm pronouncing that right. So like it's the serpent um, circling all the way around and eating its own tail, the, you know, with the telling of cycles, death and rebirth and all that fun stuff. And the middle is, to, is a portal energy that represents the energy, the Kundalini energy within you, that portal. Um, so that's, that's the brief fast, fast, fast for pie stones, snowflake obsidian. This is a good one if you're a Scorpio, sun, moon, rising, or if you have a lot of Scorpio in your chart, this is a really awesome stone to have. It represents light and shadow and it helps you reconcile so that you can see the light in things and balance that darker side of you. Scorpios are naturally on the darker side of things, just like uh, Virgos would be naturally on the lighter side of things. So they need to um, be okay with seeing the darkness in others and do their best to integrate that like, and accept that as well as themselves. So this is one thing that will help them and it will also soften the scorpion-like uh, energy within them. They won't be seen as a threat by other people with this snowflake obsidian. So this is also a good thing for anyone to have to ground, bring you in the present moment and help you get over things. And it's just like a lunar eclipse because lunar eclipses will reveal a truth to you um, that has been hidden. So if there is anything to be revealed to you, Snowflake, Snowflake Obsidian will assist you. And you can use your intention to ask, I'm going through this challenge or I'm about to, I'd like you to reveal anything I need to see. And it will help you peacefully, groundedly, patiently get through those kinds of challenges as it reveals all, all sides of things to you. So hopefully <laughs> you wanna have some Snowflake Obsidian. Um, so hopefully you have an amazing rest of your day. It's Wednesday, like I said, Sunday, catch me live on my main Facebook page for our Scorpio full moon sacred sound journey. Connecting to Lilith is, is going to be happening, but now I know even more so that we're also going to connect to the higher vibrations to ground and connect, right? Just like my yes yesterday's Tarot and Oracle little mini session. So uh, listen to that if you haven't, but we'll be chatting about that and Scorpios and all the things on um, Sunday night. So I'll see you guys soon. Have an amazing Wednesday. Blessed be.